It may only be September, but it's already threatening to be a long, cold winter for these two clubs, both struggling with indifferent form. The Albion dominated the early play and had the best of the chances. Alexis Nicholas giving the visiting supporters an early penalty appeal. Then it was Leon Knight who brought a smart save from Steve Banks. And the Gillingham keeper also had to be on top of his game when Adam Virgo's free kick was deflected by Ian Cox. At last, Gillingham started to come into the game with John Hill's cross and Ewan Roberts' presence causing a scramble in the Albion rearguard. Knight was proving a lively presence up front for the Albion and makeshift striker Virgo nearly set him up, Hill's cover arriving just in time. And it was Knight who created the best chance of the first 45 minutes for Dean Hammond. But once again, he couldn't beat Banks. At half-time, one of Brighton's celebrity fans was very happy. I think we're dominating, playing really well. I mean, you know, um, maybe missing a few chances out front, but we're by far the better side. After the break, each side had a golden opportunity to break the deadlock. First, Dean Hammond set up Adam Virgo. Naira Nosworthy just got there in time to block the effort. Then, within seconds of coming on as substitute, Mama Sidibe seemed certain to score, but somehow the Albion defence got in his way. Once again, though, the Jill's undone by a controversial penalty decision. Chris Hope pulled up for a foul on Leon Knight. This, the fourth penalty Gillingham have conceded in three games. And Knight made no mistake from the spot. One heart-stopping moment at the end for the Albion, a dangerous free kick, a six-man wall, but Darren Byfield blasted over. At the end, Andy Hessen-Taylor furious with referee Ray Oliver. Oh, I spoke to the player concerned, Chris Hope, and he believes that you know, he made the block challenge on it. And as he's, Chris has gone to get up, the fella's just, uh, Leon Knight's gone over his, over his leg. But I'd like to see on a video, I can't make a comment on that, uh, really. 